When it comes to those one-of-a-kind finds from a second-hand store, the order of the day is renovation. Now, as you can see, the previous owners of this antique display cabinet did try to revive this piece of furniture, but I'm going to show you how to give it a fresh new makeover using paint techniques and decoupage. The materials that I'm going to use for this renovation are a roller sander, turpentine, a glass scraper, varnish, antique liquid, furniture paint, metallic paint, a sponge roller and tray, wallpaper that's embossed and patterned, and Mod Podge. The first step is sanding. We're going to give a light sand to the overall cabinet. Why? Well, we don't want to sand it right down to its original wood state because we are giving it a fresh coat of paint. All we want to do is smooth the lumps and bumps of the previous paint job. I'm going to be using the sanding roller. What's really great about this unique shape over here with all these sanding discs put together, it allows me to sand the curves of this piece of furniture. But if you don't have one of these, you can use a sander's block, sanding sponge and sandpaper. All the sanding is done, all the lumps and bumps of the previous paint job is removed, it feels smooth to the touch, but before I give it a dusting with the sawdust, what we're going to see is some paint blobs here from the previous paint job have dried on the glass and it doesn't look really nice. So we're going to remove it with a glass scraper and some turpentine. It's time for decoupage. Decoupage is an easy, fun way to add interest and detail to a piece of furniture. So what I'm going to do is only add the decoupage to these five panels that surround the cabinets. So I need to measure out the width and the height of each panel and then cut out my wallpaper. So our wallpaper panels are cut to size and they're ready to be stuck onto this piece of furniture. I'm using Mod Podge over here with a sponge roller and I'm just going to get a nice amount on there. I'm going to put some on the back of each panel and then stick it and smooth it out with my hands so to make sure there's no bubbles showing. And any excess wallpaper I'm just going to shave off with a Stanley knife. That was some sticky business. But now the wallpaper is stuck onto the piece of furniture and while this dries, it's time to paint the cabinet. But before we start, we have to mask off the areas that we don't want painted. And then we're gonna put two coats of this beautiful stone gray color furniture paint. A sponge roller makes light work of painting for the large areas of the cabinet. Using a brush to get into the corners ensures every inch of this cabinet is painted. Two coats of this furniture paint will leave this cabinet looking brand new. Our two coats of furniture paint has now dried and it's time for the first part of detailing. I'm going to go in with this antique glaze, it's water based and what this does, it gives an aged or distressed look to furniture. I'm going to use this mutton cloth and transfer the product to the cloth and then lightly dab or swipe where I need it. 
I didn't go too heavy with the anti-glaze as I wanted just a slight distress look to this cabinet. Now guys, this is where the magic happens. In my hand, I have this beautiful rose gold metallic paint and what I'm gonna do is just highlight the features and accents of this cabinet and dab it ever so lightly with the sponge brush over here. I'm gonna start here with the embossed wallpaper. It's gonna look so beautiful and just give this cabinet some glamour. just secured the keyhole embellishment back onto our cabinet and our cabinet is nearly done. All that's left for me to do is to remove the masking tape, clean the glass with some turpentine and insert the original glass shelving. And then pick a space in the home for this beautiful cabinet to stand in all its glory and then display all the things we love.